not sure where to go, or what to see. Then, let's explore. Waterford. A busy day spent exploring must-see attractions, including Clock Tower, Cathedral of the Most Holy Trinity, Waterford and Waterford Museum of Treasures. eighteen sixty three Gothic Revival Clock Tower and Fountain with most of their original fittings and mechanisms. Then moved to Cathedral of the Most Holy Trinity, Waterford. Grand, restored Catholic cathedral built in seventeen ninety three with a nineteenth century organ and ten crystal chandeliers. Then on to Waterford Museum of Treasures. Complex of three local history museums housing artifacts from Viking to modern via medieval ages. And then House of Waterford Crystal. Guided factory tours of the high-end crystal makers with a large store selling their products. Next to Reginald's Tower. Circular 13th century waterside defense tower with a large collection of archaeological artifacts. Next stop King of the Vikings. And then French Church, Waterford. The French Church, a former Franciscan friary and also known as Greyfriars Abbey it was built in 1241 on what is now Greyfriars and Bailey's New Street, Waterford. Next to Christ Church Cathedral, Waterford. Elegant, neoclassical Georgian-style cathedral with an ornate stained glass window and a gift shop. The most popular travel time in Waterford is August. The temperature ranges from 20 to 12 degrees Celsius. Yearly events. Sprawy is in August. The Waterford Harvest Festival is in September. The Imagine Arts Festival is in October. Check the video description below for weather tips, more events, and helpful links to plan your trip. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you always go the best way for the best day.